Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're on the rise now. We started kind of chilly this morning across much of Montana, but now things are finally starting to move in, move up. The cold air is moving out, and here's the way it looked this evening as tonight's sunset. It's a picture from Lynn Richardson. This is out taken out there by Deaver, Wyoming. See off in the distance? There's Hard Mountain. But look at that blue sky there in, in Wyoming, and just a few clouds there, just reflecting some of that, re that sunset. Just a gorgeous shot there. Thanks, Lynn. And look at this shot from Rudy Falling. You're looking at Montana's rims. You can look out towards the Bear Tooth out there, and that was what we saw tonight as uh, out there by Red Lodge. They had clearing skies over Montana, over Billings. Well, we had mostly cloudy skies here tonight, but still made a great looking sunset. Here's the way things are shaping up now, Billings. Though currently, it's still mostly cloudy, 33 degrees. We have a southwesterly wind at 15 miles per hour. It gives you a wind chill factor that feels like 23 degrees. Now, our reported high today actually topped out at 35, which, by the way, is our normal high for this time of year. The record was 65 back in 1990. The record low was 14 below zero back in 1961. And when it comes to precipitation, nothing new fell in our rain gauge today. And as you'll notice here for the month, we're a little bit behind normal, but not too far. We're at 1100s. We're still way ahead of normal on the year at 1907 to be caught up to average for this time of year. We need to be at 13 and 33 and obviously we have done that. Well, as we move on, you can see our current temps around the state into the teens, 20s and even a few 30s like over Great Falls, 33 degrees, 30 at Helena across the High Line. Uh, we were very cold this morning, but we at least had we're 12 degrees over Glasgow. At least everybody is above zero right now, but check out our reported highs. The 17 over Glasgow is the high temp today. 30 at Georgia, you see 23 at Glendive. Billings, we were 35 degrees. In the far west, uh, look at all the 30s and 40s out there. Missoula, 40 degrees, 42 over at Helena today. Same thing at Livingston. But as you'll notice here tonight, uh, through 3 o'clock to tomorrow afternoon, we have a wind advisory for the Beartooth foothills for 50 to 60 mile per hour crosswinds from Big Timber all the way towards Livingston and Bozeman. So be careful, especially if you have a high profile vehicle, 18 wheeler truck. Those guys are going to, it's going to be pretty hairy tomorrow once those winds start blowing. And as you'll notice here, we do see here the jet stream kind of pushing in from the eastern edge of the state. Continues to take whatever snow showers we had up in Glasgow and Jordan. Continues to push those guys in towards North Dakota along with most of the cold air. And as you can see, here's the batch of cold Arctic air that came right off the top of the globe. It has dropped all the way down towards Iowa and no northern Missouri. So that's where the coldest air is right now. That whole thing continues to slide into the Great Lakes. But look at this. New ridge of high pressure starting to build up in our area. And so what's going to happen, we've got one wave of moisture there, another one here, and still one more wave of moisture way out there. So these guys will be moving in and they'll come close to us for a while. Maybe as they come down off the mountains, you might see um, kind of dry up a little bit, might see some scattered rain showers, might be too warm for snow. And I think that's what we're going to see off and on for the next couple of days. Through Wednesday, 6 p.m., you'll see we do have warm air moving in towards south central Montana and the eastern edge of the state. Cloudy skies out in the west. Then by Thursday, here comes your next moisture batch moving in. Snow showers in western Montana and western Wyoming, parts of the Beartooth by 6 p.m. Thursday. And so all this stuff will continue to move in one shot after another for the next several days. So how much snow are we talking about? Well, for Billings, not much, maybe just light stuff. The big winters will be over at Kalispell, 6 to 10 inches. Missoula, maybe 4 to 6 inches there. Same thing over in Lewistown. Back here in the east, generally just light snow is all we're going to see. Tonight in, Mont in Billings, we'll look at temps cooling down to the uh, teens, 20s, and 30s. Sydney tonight, about 2 degrees. It'll be 24 in Billings tonight with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, back to the 20s. 20s, 30s, even a few low 40s tomorrow. That should feel pretty good. Billings will be 42, 41 at Livingston. Tonight, Billings partly cloudy down to 24, so not quite as cold. Next seven days, three days of 40s, 30 to 40 percent chance for rain showers moving in on Thursday and Friday. Then we'll roll it back into the 30s. Maybe a slight chance for some snow showers over the weekend, but sunny skies on Monday and Tuesday. Let's go back to the desk.